Everyone, Bruns Nick's back, and it's time to talk about the new radical bowling piece, the Katana Dragon. In this video, I'm going to stack it up against the Katana Slash and my personal favorite, the original Katana. Now we're bowling on a basic house shot. Now that's gonna be imperative for all the reviews. Now the original Katana on a house shot is like the perfect matchup. I want you to pay close attention to how quick the response is. The hook window is really what I want you to pay attention here. With the original Katana, you see it get out of its skid and then into a quick change of direction. That hook window is, is very small, uh, so it changes direction in a quick manner. And that's what you're going to see from most skid snap type bowling balls. Now the slash, even though I was 3 and 2 left with my feet, I would say it was, was smoother overall. Now the hook phase on the slash is a lot longer front to back, so as it gets out of its skid, and into its hook phase, that is a long, more drawn out process for this ball, making it a lot easier to read and a lot easier to control. What's nice about having a ball that's easy to see and easy to control is you're not gonna give away the pocket with this ball. The slash is well matched for something that's a little more control comparatively. The other thing to notice is when you're starting to get into a stronger cover like the slash on a house shot or as the lanes start to transition, Watch very carefully with how the ball goes through the pins. Now the common theme with this ball for this video was that this ball lost some axis rotation as it was going down the lane and started rolling a little more forward. And you can tell that by the way it goes through the pins. Especially on the balls that leak right, it hit kind of light pocket. And the ones that go flush, you can still see it deflect a little bit as it goes through the pins. That's a result of the ball kind of losing a little more energy, bleeding a little more energy front to back. It doesn't make it a bad ball, it makes it a more controllable ball. That's fairly typical from what you'll see on a control ball, is using more energy front to back. It's not going to have that same energy and gusto as it goes through the pins. So with another 4 and 2 left move, we enter the Dragon. Now, what I want to mention here is this ball has all the hook potential in the world, probably the most in the Radical line, history-wise. We'll find that out with Bowler's Journal soon. What I want you to pay close attention to is how similar it is to the original Katana as far as its hook phase. Now, with the slash was a little slower, you can see the hook phase on this one is a lot quicker. And what is good about that is you have that skid snap type reaction, but for much heavier oil conditions. So if you need to see the ball recover, this ball is going to do just that. So as the lanes break down, Katana looks great. When we move to the slash, you can see it's still suffering from some of the same motion on the back end. The ball is very controllable, but playing these wide open angles, you're gonna want something just a little bit more responsive. Now, the Dragon was very strong, almost overkill. The best look I had with the Katana Dragon was moving my feet a lot further left, playing with my loft a little bit more, and keeping that ball on the oil line, just riding the oil all the way down as far as I could. I'm not trying to play the big hook, I'm just trying to open my angles and not get the ball out too far. When I leaked it right, with the Dragon, as the lanes broke down, the ball would stand up very hard to friction. As we talked about earlier, you know, that quick hook window, it's going to see friction and it's going to make a change of direction. You know, if it were me and this was for score or for money, I'd be using the original Katana because I want that ball to clear the fronts a lot easier. I don't want to have to be trying to throw it through the spot or make sure I'm perfect getting it inside. I definitely had more room to miss with the original Katana as the lanes broke down. So the Katana Dragon really rounds out the Katana line. You have your big hook ball with the Katana Dragon, most hook in our history. You got that Katana Slash with the nice hybrid cover. It's gonna fit right in the middle, that control piece that you can use on sport patterns, on tougher patterns, even some long patterns. 
Uh, and then you have that skid flip monster, the original Katana, that's gonna give you that overall sharp response on the back and be better for more overall conditions you're gonna see. That's all for now. Hope you guys learned a little something about the Katana line, how the Dragon really fills out the reaction chart. Look for the Beyond Ridiculous Pearl video coming soon. I wanna thank all you guys for getting me to 1,000 subscribers, sharing my channel, putting those videos out there. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe below. It's gonna be a busy summer. Brunswick Deviate Radical, we just announced a ton of bowling balls. I'm gonna be doing reviews for all of them. So stay tuned. Talk to you soon.